Hello, very good afternoon, everybody. I hope all of you can uh, see me properly and uh, hear me properly. So this is uh, a live session. And uh, last week, I was sitting with a group of friends. And they said, uh, Yogeshwar, is the stock market going to crash? So this is uh, uh, a fear everybody has when the market goes up. That is the stock market going to crash. Now, and that is an interesting topic, especially now when you are sitting on good profits. Last year was very good. Market almost doubled, you know, and from 10,800 to 15,500, Nifty rallied almost 50% from October 2020 onwards. So, a normal question that comes in the mind is, is the stock market going to crash? So I hope uh, you know you are able to see me properly, and that's the topic I'm going to discuss today. The topic is interactive, so if you have any queries, you can ask me. In the end, I will have a question answer session. I'll have a question answer session into the start. Uh, my name is Yogeshwar Vashisht. I'm a civil engineer by profession. I've done my MTech from IIT Roorkee in 1989. I was an NRI for more than 10 years. Then got interested into the stock market from 2002 to 2006. I was a part-time trader while doing a job. From 2006 onwards, I came back to India, became a full-time trader. And from 2006 to 2010, I was a full-time trader. 2010, I started coaching people. So now I'm a full-time trader and a trading coach. I stay in Mumbai, guys. So thank you very much for watching me live any queries any questions you have you can ask me so let's go i'll share my screen with you now so here you can see here this is the indian stock market here and the first thing that uh, i see is this is the yearly chart of our market of the last 20 years and we see this is uh, the year 2000 when the market was roughly at about a thousand rupees and since then the market is continuously on our trend we are a growing economy and uh, our markets have then uh, see we had a bull run almost from uh, 2003 to 2007 we had a bull run then Lehman Brothers happened and this was the crash of uh, 2008 when the market went down almost 61 percent then the market consolidated for almost one two three four five years almost the market consolidated and then it again took a jump on the upside here this is where the market took a jump on the upside and after that we are in a bull run we are in a bull run from 2012 onwards and the bull run is intact bull run is intact so how do we know whether the market has peaked will it go from 15000 to 30000 or from here will a correction come but this is the bigger picture of our market so to start with i don't think our markets are going to crash correction is fine so what is a regular correction what is a deep correction and what is a beer market? So a regular correction is up to 10% of a correction. When the correction is up to 10%, it is called a regular correction. When it uh, becomes more than 10%, up to 20%, it becomes a deep correction. And whenever the correction in the market happens more than 20%, then you can say that we have started entering a beer market. And coming to the smaller time frame, let's say this is the monthly chart that we have. And you see, we are very much in a bull run. You see, we are very much in a bull run on the upside. Yes, there's been a very, very steep rally from 8,400 to 15,300 almost. And a minor correction, profit booking, that is very normal and natural for the market. And it should be happening. It's a very normal thing that happens here. So 
what are the criteria on which the market is judged whether it is cheap or expensive so let's go and have a look at it the most common criteria that everybody sees is that what are the DIIs and the FIIs do? These are the players who create the market. So this market is created by the FIIs and the DIIs. The FIIs are foreign institutional investors. DIIs are domestic institutional investors. The DIIs can be our mutual funds. They are our banks. They are our corporates, our insurance companies, big broker. They are all DIIs. And FIIs are the money that is flowing from outside India. And if you see here, in February, the FII is bought for 42,000 crores. And this month also, so far, they have bought for about 3,491 crores. So in the last one year, a lot of money is flowing in our country. And that is what is sustaining the market. Another thing that has happened is that the rate of interest of FDs have gone down drastically. Other avenues are not there, so people are going to the stock market either directly or indirectly. Either directly or indirectly. And that's why a lot of money is flowing into the market. One very popular criteria that is used to see if the market is cheap or expensive is called P, the price to equity ratio. And this is the P of our market. Let's check out the P of our market. The current PE of a market is 40.76. That is the current PE of the market. Guys, if you have any questions, you can keep on uh, putting those questions. And at the end, I will be answering those questions and queries. Okay. So the PE of the market is currently 40.76. Now, this here, if I am looking at a nifty chart, I'll share the link with you. Those who are there, I'll put it on the comment here. So this is the link that we are seeing. How do we evaluate P? When the P is below 12, the market is considered very, very cheap. 12 to 15, inexpensive. 15 to 20, buy or hold. The moment the P starts going above 20, the market becomes very you know, expensive. And beyond 25, it is on a very expensive thing. And 25 to 30 is extremely expensive. And we are at the moment at about 40. So in terms of valuations, we are very, very expensive right now. And not only the Indian stock market, the US stock market, the you know other stock markets, they are very, very expensive. Corona, somehow a lot of people were sitting at home. A lot of money started flowing into the market. People start taking this seriously as a profession. And a lot of people have involved. So retail is coming here, FII is here, DII is here. And money is continuously pushing into the markets. Let's look at the average P's of our market. So this is another link I'll share with you. Any queries, any questions, keep on asking here. So if I'm seeing here, look, this is the year 2000. What was the range of the P? 26, 20, 18, in 2001, 20, 21, 18, 15, 14, 13, 15. Now, from 2015 onwards, if you see, you start seeing this pink color and the market starts going for a higher P. That doesn't mean we became expensive. It also happened that our growth increased. The country increases manufacturing. There were many other criteria that became positive, and our country came on the radar where a lot of investments started happening. And from 2017 onwards, we were easily sustaining a PE of 20 plus 22, 23, 24, 25. For the whole 2017, we sustained it. 2018, also, we were easily sustaining a P of about uh, 25. 2019, again, a P of 25 was easily being sustained. And in 2020, during the Corona crisis, now if you see here, and I go to 2020, a major event was here. This was the major event that happened here. This is the Corona crash. 
if I see here. This is the corona crash that happened. This is the corona crash. And in this corona crash here, After this, a lot of money started flowing into the stock market. People started looking seriously at the market as an alternate source of income, place to park their money and see we are in a very strong bull run for almost one year. For almost one year, we are in a bull run. And the price became disbalanced here. It also is disbalanced here, the price, if you see. Is also here disbalanced. So now let me add into this the balance line. If you go to my YouTube channel, you will see a regularly do an analysis there. Let's do a analysis on this one here. And you see, this is what the market did. Became very imbalanced. This is the balance line. This is the balance line. And we have seen regularly when the price becomes imbalanced. This is where the price become imbalanced. This was the imbalanced price. Imbalanced price. And the price from here went up to create a balance. And now, even though right now we feel everything is great, honky-dory, the fact is, at this point, he is what? Very expensive. Very expensive. And if you see here, this is still a this is an imbalance that is happening. This is the imbalance. This is the imbalance that has happened into this one. So a healthy correction is welcome. In fact, uh, when will people enter into it again? When one more correction comes into it, then people will enter into it again. So this is the imbalance that is there. So yes, we are on expensive side, but the kind of growth our country is having, we are, our vaccinations have started and the whole world is very, very hopeful on India. So crash, no. Correction, yes. So if a correction happened, what could be a good correction? Now, if you see here, this is where the market touched here. These are the Fibonacci levels I'm drawing here. This is the Fibonacci levels I'm drawing for the market from when it touched the balance line. And a 50% retracement is considered a good correction in an expensive market. So, from here, I won't be very surprised if you see a 13,600, which already came once, and a deeper correction can take it till a 50% retracement. So, and uh, we've also seen that this balance line has acted as a support here, here, and the Fibonacci levels have also acted as a support in this one. So that's uh, one thing we are seeing. Another person who is very well known and who is the expert in the market, he is Mr. Warren Buffett. So let's check at the Buffett indicator. This is the Warren Buffett indicator we are looking at. I'll share this link also with you. Say yes, guys, those who are attending live, just in the comment, say yes. So I know you are watching me live and you will have some questions later on on this. So here, this is the Buffett indicator. What does it say? It is, says the GDP of the country and the market capitalization of the country. So market total market cap or GDP. What is the total market capitalization? or the GDP, and it says, according to the original Buffett indicator, the stock market is significantly overvalued. The stock market is significantly overvalued, and ratio of total market cap over GDP is at 101.19. So 
according to this they are projecting that this year you won't get great returns maybe about 2 3% those are the returns based on the newly introduced total market cap over gdp okay you know you will uh, probably get a very modest returns and this will be a shocker for people who made very good money in 2020 2020 my portfolio i could make about 42% returns but i'm not expecting a 42% return this particular year in fact i'm sitting on 75% cash and in this market where uncertainty is more imbalanced is more you have to remain very very careful and this market operates on nine dimensions and if you want to operate into this market you need to understand the price the fundamental technical mismatch patterns volume open interest volatility momentum multiple time frame analysis and the sector rotation so now let's take a market leader let's take an example of the market leader which is reliance industries if i go here this is reliance industries now let's look at reliance industries something very similar is happening in uh, reliance industries here and we see that reliance industries this was the phase when mr mukesh ambani was selling parts of his company he was selling his company selling his company so stake sold to lot of companies all over the world and market went up but the balance sheet of reliance is weak reliance is not a strong stock Geo hurt it badly. Free doesn't give money. It gives publicity. It doesn't give money. So the balance sheet is not very strong. If you look at the balance sheet of Reliance Industries, the balance sheet is not great of Reliance Industries. In fact, if I look at Reliance Industries balance sheet, Reliance is growing at about uh, you know nine to ten percent per year. That is a growth that is happening in Reliance about. 9 to 10 percent per year, and the P of Reliance is about, I think, uh, 20 plus. That is, let's look at the exact one. If I go to Reliance Industries here. See Reliance Industries. Reliance Industries having a P of 35, not even 20. Guys, it is having a P of 35. which means market is expecting about 35% a year returns from reliance industries but if i go to the actual balance sheet of reliance industries let's see in the last 5 years how much has reliance industries grown 1 2 3 4 5 it has grown from 43 to 66 so 66 minus 43 divided by 43 into 100 divided by 5 so reliance the actual growth of reliance industry is about 11% per year so if i look at reliance industries which is a p of about 35 growing at about 11 you know so 35 divided by 11 it is three times over value so if i look at a very simple base mathematical calculation of reliance reliance is three times over value so this has two dimensions that are it has not only a imbalance it is a price imbalance it also had a fundamental technical mismatch what is a fundamental technical mismatch if the balance sheet is weak and uh, the price has gone up the price will always be dragged towards the balance sheet the price will always be dragged towards the balance sheet so let's go and look at reliance reliance has already done that once it is not stronger than market the downside in reliance has already started if you see here it broke the balance line here down once on 29th january 
it went below the balance line. After that, it has gone up. We see Reliance has a you know weakness. Even today, when the market is up, which side is Reliance going? Reliance is going down. Guys. These are my trades going on today. Right now, I'm making a profit of 4,400 rupees. I live trade with my students every day. So those who want to be a part of uh, my coaching and training program, guys, you can always go to my website, pathfinderstrainings.com. And you have to give an interview. You have to give an interview. Go to the paid trainings here. And in this, there is a interview link that is there that you can go for. And you can go. But I'll come to that later. Coming here on Reliance, looking at the structure of Reliance. Reliance is a stock which is continuing to move down. In fact, today it has already, you know, gone down. It has gone below the balance line and it gives me an opportunity to take further trade. I have not added Reliance so far, but I won't mind going into Reliance Industries. In futures and check how it is doing. And this is Reliance Industries future that I'm looking at. And I've marked my level on this. That anytime when Reliance will break below this level, where it took support yesterday, because it has already broken the trend line. If you see, the trend line has already been broken. I will take further short trade in Reliance Industries. I'll take further short trade in Reliance Industries here. So coming back to Reliance, we see that this is a stock in which you will make more money going short on Reliance, buying put options, shorting the futures. It's definitely not a stock for portfolio. Okay, This is not a stock for portfolio. Another example which will give a reflection of the market, if you see here, let's go to gold. This is gold mini contract. This is gold that I'm seeing here. This will be a 45 minute session roughly, guys. At about 12.35, uh, I'll close. And at about last 10 minutes, I'll take a question answer session for all those who are attending live. I see a lot of people who are attending this session live, guys. So, great. So let's go to gold, guys. Going to the future of gold. And see, this is exactly what gold did. If you'll watch one of my YouTube videos here. Okay, this is where gold become imbalanced during Corona and give fantastic shorting opportunities. And if you see here, so the question is, is the Indian stock market going to crash? No. Will it have a good correction? Yes. A good correction is due. And I think 2021 is the year of corrections. As the economy will open up, as vaccines will be administered, everything will go fine. Then, of course, you know, some correction, some profit booking is likely to come into the market. And if you look at gold, gold has been breaking down. And I think I would be more interested in buying gold when it comes on this double bottom. Maybe a 40,100 rupees level. So 40,000 could be a good level to buy some gold for your wife. So this is a very simple way to look at the markets. The You have to understand the basic bias of the market is not down. The basic bias of the markets are up. Otherwise, they will not exist. This is the bank nifty. If I go to bank nifty, you see this is the 
basic bias of bank nifty bank nifty consolidated almost for one two three four five six seven eight years bank nifty consolidated and after that it has taken a big rally on the upside similarly if we are seeing uh, on the monthly chart let's look at uh, the top 10 stocks of india how are they doing this is hdfc and we look at this is the monthly chart of hdfc and we, we look at hdfc from a balance and an imbalance point of view hdfc is imbalanced in fact right now you are seeing a pattern into this called head and shoulders and uh, they will be selling pressure on hdfc and hdfc bank similar for hdfc bank uh, hindustan liver see already has done the correction from 2400 it has come down it is moving down icici bank due for a correction infosys due for a correction tcs due for a correction itc already correcting kotak bank due for a correction reliance already correcting larsen and tobro due for a correction so this is okay so this is more or less what the market is if you look from the valuation point of view from the p of the market market is very expensive 40 p is unheard of it is first time in the almost 20 years market has touched the p of 40 means uh, a gdp growth if i divided it by three at least that is a rule of thumb 40 divided by 3 is about 13%. So a 13% GDP growth will justify it. So are we growing at 13% per year, guys? A 13% per year will justify a PE of 40. Three times is the value that is normally justified. Are we growing? Yes, guys. Are we growing at a rate of 13% per year? Is our GDP growing at 13% per year? Yes or no? No, we are not growing at about 13% per year. We're just growing at about, I think, 1% or 2% per year. Right now. In fact, the projection of 2021 and 2022 is about 8% to 9% per year. So we are still overvalued by at least about 20%. So a 20% correction in the market is going to be a healthy correction. Okay? Anything more than that is normally not expected in the market case. So, if you have any of the stocks that you want me to see for you, you can uh, type there. In the meantime, let's look at the various sectors. Another dimension of the market is the various sectors which govern the market. These are the major sectors. Auto, bank, commodities, consumption, CPSC, energy, financial services, FMCG, infra, IT, media, metals, MNC, pharma, private bank, PSC, PSU bank, reality, and services sector. So these are the major uh, things of the market here. What can you expect from this market? What is this market supposed to give you? I think those who take this market very seriously, this is a good expectation from the market. In your portfolio building, you should get about 24% per year returns. In intraday and swing trading, you can easily make about 10% a month on your capital. Like right now, in the trade that is going on, which is intraday trade, I am, you know, booking about two, 3,000 rupees right now is the profit. And my expected profit by the day end is about 8,000. That is my calculation. The capital that I'm utilizing is about 8 lakh and 10,000 rupees. So that is a reasonable expectation to have. Yesterday was very good for me. I booked 34,000 rupees, 10 lakh rupees of capital, 27,000 rupees day before yesterday, 33,000 rupees here. This is 
yesterday yesterday hai day before yesterday it's an amazing profession if you know how to do it and don't be scared that the market will go down in fact the best opportunities you get is when the market goes down because this market can be traded in three directions up down and sideways so to uh, summarize you know, what i can uh, say is that this market is uh, expensive but yes we are a growth driven country so i'm not expecting any crash but a healthy correction of 10 to 15% would be very good for a re entry back into the good quality stocks so thank you very much for listening to me you want to know more about stock market you can go on my site pathfinderstrainings.com that's my site pathfinderstrainings.com here where uh, i've got a free blog in which a lot of my articles are there that you can read here so i regularly write articles here that you can read you can uh, test yourself where to see how much do you know about the stock market you can take a test here then this is the best trade these are the trades of the students who regularly trade under me and this is the best trades that you can look at okay. so and then i have a youtube channel where uh, i regularly post my analysis and videos that you can subscribe to and become a part of so to answer the question that we started with is our stock market going to crash it will is is a correction due yes correction is definitely due into the market thank you very much for listening to this uh, session and uh, i'll take now questions if you have so any queries any questions you have cash come back to the market once the market has corrected 10 15% okay i have uh ashish has a question what is the balance line that you are seeing balance line is where the price eventually come back to you can use a bollinger band for a balance line you can use moving average for a balance line you can also use a option chain for a balance line balance line is where the price will eventually come back to. it moves around its price is like a pendulum price it moves away from the balance line comes back to the balance line moves away from the balance line and come back to the balance line any other questions okay guys thank you very much for listening to this session and uh, uh ashish says a 200 day moving average right, right now i've used a 200 day moving average you're absolutely right ashish but there are many other balance lines that you can create great guys thank you very much for uh, listening to me and i look forward to see you in fact uh, today in the evening i have got a free training of 2 hours from 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock those who want to attend the training you can go on my page here and go to the free training click on free training and uh, you can register yourself for a free training that i'm doing tonight 9 to 11 pm this is the link to the free trainings Well, guys thank you very much all the best bye bye